Hello, I wanted to give a quick demo of my SQRL client uh, that's written in C-sharp and running on Mono in Ubuntu. So uh, here it is. Uh, I've used a couple of third-party uh, cryptography libraries, specifically uh, the .NET wrapper for Libsodium, as well as a native uh, CryptSharp, uh, it's a native .NET library. So uh, Libsodium is written in C++, CryptSharp is in .NET. So uh, you never want to re-implement your cryptography methods because you can always screw it up. Uh, you want to use something that's been a little tested and you know tried and true, really. Um, so anyways, this is uh, my first attempt. I may or may not have gotten something wrong. I haven't actually tested it with a server yet, but I just uh, got something working and I wanted to show it off. So uh, I the actual client window that's going to come up is written in GTK, although the majority of my code is all done... Uh, inside of this SQR, SQRL net uh, DLL. And meanwhile, this guy, the SQRL GTK, just references it. So I could easily make a command line one or one in WinForms or any other sort of a, any other sort of a graphical toolkit or other sort of user interface. Um, so uh, just to demo it, I'll show you what I had to do in order to get it working. Uh, first things first, I had to make a, uh, a dot desktop file in my Ubuntu system here and I'll show you what this contains so this this uh, registers the scheme so what it does is it looks for the mime type SQRL or QRL and it knows okay launch this application which I just have hard-coded to my my projects debug directory uh, passing it this dash u parameter and that dash u is going to be the actual URL that gets passed so um, there's also some metadata information on here, but that's really not important. The big thing is that this is actually going to launch an application from a web browser when I click on it. So in order to test that, I've uh, made a simple web page here. And if we inspect this element, you'll see that it's just an anchor tag uh, wrapping an image of a QR code. And I, I generated the QR code to match so that it has the, the URL that the anchor tag goes to. So this is what you'd expect to see uh, on a website that uses uh, SQRL login. So um, let's give this a spin and I'll show you kind of what my, my window looks like. It's it, it's very debug looking right now and I'll, I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to click on it and about a second later uh, it comes up here and you'll see that uh, it, it gives the name of the domain, which in, in my URL was example.com and it also gives the URL that it's going to send the request to list that out here including the uh, uh, the, the generated uh, URL the oh, I forget what they call that are we calling that the nonce or the nut I forget one of the two um, as well as a public key on the next line and a digital signature of the URL on the last line here uh, these three items have to get sent as a request to uh, a squirrel or a squirrel uh, login server so um, that part is not yet implemented. Uh, I'll also show you that I'm not quite implementing a lot of good things here. For example, I'm not reading my identity from anywhere. I'm just hard coding a password and uh, creating an identity on the fly using a very bad <laughs> way of doing random. Never generate uh, uh, any sort of random data using a, a, a timestamp as a seed. It's it's easy to easy to get around. So. Um, Next up, I'm actually going to hook this up to read some data off your computer and store out your uh, master identity keys and things like that. But uh, so far, it's up and working. Uh, I can't wait to actually test this against a real server. But in the meantime, it looks like uh, looks like I've done everything right. We'll we'll find out, right? Thank you for watching.